Well, it's getting to that time of the year when clubs eyeing up Champions League places need to make every match count in hopes of securing a spot in Europe's most elite and lucrative competition. Manchester United's season so far has been a dreadful and shocking one to say the least. With a poor run of results and issues on and off the pitch, every fan is getting frustrated and want to see change quick. I'm at the Firkin on Bloor Street to see the Red Devils take on Fulham from Old Trafford. Can Jose Mourinho find his best team today and secure an important three points? What do you think? Well, I think, I think they can, and I think what really has to happen is that um, the, the players really have to have belief and play for uh, Mourinho. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about them throwing him under the bus, and they've got to get the right attitude and play for the shirt. That's, right. that's the key. Are they going to make Champions League next season? I think so. I'm confident of a fourth place finish. All right. The next 90 minutes will be crucial for every single supporter concerned. Up next, match day number 16 in the English Premier League, right here on Sockholics TV. United! to give their fans something to cheer about. Final score at Old Trafford, 4-1 against Fulham. Uh, but first of all, I want to welcome Manny to the show. He's, he's always on camera, he never comes on the show, so he's making his first time uh, debut with us. Manny, how are you feeling looking at that game that you just saw? Obviously you must be happy, but you must be a little bit disappointed because of the way that they played. It's not really the best main eye that you've seen. Yeah, I think we could play better. Our midfield's a little bit iffy-iffy, but the lot played really good today, so I think we have a good young squad coming up. Our farm team's okay, but I think we could do better in the midfield, and our defense is a little bit of tweaking. Okay. Akash, okay, you said before the game, it's going to be hard, I think, for Man United to get a Champions League position. I mean, they got the three points today, which they needed, but do you honestly think when it comes to May, they'll finish in the top four? Honestly, I don't, I don't see that happening. Uh, my preference is actually to finish outside of the Euro European spots because... We're in no way, shape, or form to be able to compete next season to say Europa Thursdays and then Premier League on Sundays. So might as well do our best, of course. I'm not aiming for failure, but at the same time, the ideal goal of right now, even though it's only December, you know, come next season, no Europa, no Champions League, really focus on the Premier League and go from there. Okay. Yeah. Now, last time I was here, I went to address the white elephant in the room, and this is obviously the off-the-pitch problems that we're seeing between... Uh, Mourinho and Pogba. Pogba didn't play again today. How do you see this? I mean, is this disrupting you as a fan enjoying the game and these players? I mean, do you think Mourinho is the right person for the job? Is Pogba doing all he can to play? I think, okay, let me say, Pogba and Mourinho, there's something going on in the locker room. We'll never know what it is, but I think Pogba is like, for the Premier League, I think he's more better in the Saudi Arabia because it's a slower paced game. Premier League's too fast, so I think Papa's not really used to the fast-paced game. And Mourinho, you gotta give him a chance. You gotta like stick it by your team no matter what. Win, lose, or draw, you gotta stick by your team. United all the way. Yeah. Obviously, man, you've got a lot of problems with injuries. I yeah. mean, going into the Christmas break in January, you know, Sanchez out for a while. We saw Lukaku today, but still, he's still missing chances. Yeah. You have to say that they gotta start looking at buying some, some new players. Well, the thing is, though, there's been rumors, right, that uh, Mourinho's getting a huge transfer kitty but, uh, you know, purse for uh, January. But at the same time, you know, we were talking about this earlier, what team is going to let go of one of their top players? Because at United, we have to strive for the best. But given the way that we're playing with mediocrity, I don't see my, we can attract as many players as we could have. Mm. So honestly, yeah, the important thing is to buy. But at the same time, I feel like the tactics are outdated, you know. And it's important that we try to either find a philosophy or... I guess the know-how of trying to adapt because Mourinho, he has a track record. Arguably one of the most successful, if not the most successful manager in current Premier League football and world football. But he's getting found out. There's a lot of apathy and it's not really working for us right now. Yeah. 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 I'd say it, man. Do you, I mean, do you like Mourinho as a fan? Are you, are you happy with what he's doing? Or is it, because I want to hear, I want, I want, I'm hoping that you're going to be saying there's something wrong with the players. Are they performing, are they, are they performing as well as they are, they're getting paid big money for? Well, I don't think so. I, th I just think cause something's going on in the locker room and we'll never know what it is, like I said before. 
I think Mourinho's a good coach. Like, I don't know why people, like, yeah, he might get a couple. We got, we got a lot of draws and stuff like that. But I think we could do, like, give that guy a chance. And they should play for him. And the players should play for the fans. That's what I say. Because right now, it's like we're playing sloppy, right? We're getting draws. And everybody's saying, oh, it's Mourinho's fault. Just give that guy a chance. Because you know what? When Ferguson was was struggling, they were about to, they were about to fire him. But they gave him another chance. And look at all the trophies he won with him. Yeah, they play Matic every game. Play Matic every game. This guy needs a break. He's not at all performing as well as he should have. I don't know if Mourinho is trying to make a point to the board saying that we need to invest further. But at the same time, there's so many players that I feel like don't deserve or shouldn't be starting right now. A few games ago, we're playing McTominay and Matic at center back positions. Like, I, I don't understand that. Hmm. That's just me personally. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Um, De-, De Gea, your, your obviously great goalkeeper that you have, uh, is rumored to hopefully leave maybe uh, to Real Madrid. But his form's dipped. Are you concerned about that? Is it is it him to blame, or is it the whole team, the defense? No, it's not. There's nothing wrong with him. It's just rumors, and I don't believe that because so many rumors go on. It's that time of year, you know. what I mean, everyone start talking about stories about people going here, people going there. It's just rumors. You'll stay united, and our defense, like I said, it's 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 iffy. It's like we're shit, and then we're good, and we're shit, and then we're shit, shit, shit. I think we could do better. Our defense is a little weak. That's it. You know, I think Smalling's like, I don't know what's else going on with that guy, but the lot played really well today. That's what I'm saying. Is like we have a young squad there, which and Rojos, I think he should go, right? But that's just my opinion, right? Yeah. All right, guys, well, that's all the time we have for. Thanks to Cash. Thanks to Manny coming on finally. Um, thanks to the Furkey for having us. And uh, check out all our videos. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below. Uh, we'll see you next time on Soft Colleagues TV.